Hi, my name is Davis with Zebedee Strategic Design. Today I would like to take you through the Bootstrap CMS system that you see before us, and I'll give you a brief rundown and introduction. So what is Zebedee Bootstraps? Zebedee Bootstraps is a CMS, a content management server, that's based upon Silverstripe, an uh, organization in New Zealand uh, that's been coming about uh, the past two years, recently being sponsored by Google Summer of Code uh, to get some incredible intuitive input into the project. Um, we have utilized this open source framework to create what you see here today. Um, today I'd like to take you through some of the basic formats, some of the basic layout and functionality that Bootstrap offers to create your own custom page. Uh, first off, you'll notice here on the left hand side you've got site content files and security, we'll get into those in a second. Um, site content, you'll notice your page is laid out here in a very easy to understand format, which you can create more pages, you can delete or reorganize these as you see fit. Uh, over here to the right, we've got our, our main content with our modules, which you can create as many modules as you need to, HTML editors for your, your basic HTML content, um, pictures, comments, slideshow, booking and map for just a few. More can be added on very easily. You'll be able to drag these into your slot areas which correspond to the areas of your page. And of course you can make your changes, you can edit, delete, etc, etc. You can also modify your page properties, behaviors, reports, we'll get into those in a sec. Let's take a moment, we'll take a closer look and we'll show you how to modify your own content. So now that we've gone through the basics of the Zebedee Bootstrap and you've been introduced to the layout, let's go into a bit more of the detail about how the functionality actually works. Your slot system in the center, your components on the right hand side, allowing you to create content by dragging and dropping those in. And on the left hand side, your create, and delete and reorganize buttons, which you can arrange the pages of your site. Within our existing events page, let me demonstrate how you can simply click one of the components and drag that over to, to a new slot. Release, and that automatically falls into place, giving you an instant feedback and automatically rearranging the components to take in that spot. What you see here in the various columns is actually what you will get on the front end web page my HTML editor, which, is, which contains the content that I've just dragged over, will in fact now be on the right-hand side of my web page. Whereas over here on the booking, the picture, the slideshow will be on the left-hand side, my map location naturally be in the center. So this provides a very visual way for you to arrange the content as you create your various web pages. If I go over here to the component set on the right-hand side, I can select a new component, click that, and just simply drag that over into whatever slot I would like that to be in, release it, it falls into place, creating new content. Now, by clicking the edit button, it brings up the screen in which I can change the content of that component, in this case being the HTML component. I can type in my page header here select that, and I've got my various HTML editing tools up above. You can select Heading 1 to bring that up to a bigger font. I click Return, and it automatically brings me back to the slot layout view. Now, let's go into the page properties, which is the tab next to content. If I click that, I've got the ability to name this page whatever I'd like to name it. In this case, I've got it named to events. You can change that to whatever you like. If you want the navigation label to be different than the actual name of the page, you can change that here as well. I wanted this to be perhaps lowercase or event navigation title. I can do so there. Go back to content. Once again, 
you're back into your main view. When I've made changes to my web page, I go up to the right hand side and I have my various buttons here where I can save the draft. Saving draft will not make it live on the web page, but simply save the changes you've made, allowing other people to make additional paint changes, etc., etc. If I click Save Draft, you'll notice down here I have the alert saying it's saved. If I want to make that live on the website, I click Publish, and now those changes are in fact saved and live. Let's go up to the top side. Next to Site Content, we have a tab for Files and Images. Let's go ahead and upload an image. Clicking that, comes into the screen. I choose Upload. I choose my file. Come here into my desktop. Choose JPEG, and it shows up here. I choose Upload Files, and now it's up into my Zebedee Bootstrap system. So now, if we go back to Site Content, my image is then available to arrange wherever I want to on the web page. Now, back in our slot layout view, I'm going to go back into my uh, picture component, click the edit button, and choose that file that I have just uploaded, which appears right there. Attach that image, and it becomes available. Done. Go return, and now I'm back into my main view. So let's go to our map component. Click edit. What happens is it pulls in the Google map and gives you a visual representation of any location that you would like. Let's zoom in. I've got the marker setting to the specific spot. Let's say I want to move closer to the beach. So, I click that component, I drag that marker over to where I'd like that to be, and voila. It has just reset my location, and I can return. Ah, one more thing before I go back. Let's go into the show address. So I click in the show address box, type in an address, and if I click show address, it'll automatically pull in that spot and give me an option to zoom in and choose my exact location. Done deal. Very quick and very easy to use. So now that you've seen how you can arrange the components of your web page, add components in and edit those components, you get a grasp of the kind of power Zebedee Bootstrap can bring to you as you create content for your web page. The visualness of this is unparalleled in giving you full access and full power of creating the content you need to, which is unmatched in other CMSs out there. Things like the Google Maps provides you a glimpse into Zebedee Bootstrap's amazing API functionality to bring in content from other third parties. Google being just one example, other possibilities include Flickr images and RSS feeds from various sites. Now that you've had a chance to check out the Zebra Bootstrap system, learn how the components, how the modules, how the content works, visit zebra.com to get started.